Sister Wives fans know this week has been incredibly difficult. Garrison Brown tragically took his own life on March 5, 2024. Now, the family is dealing with the loss in their own ways. While many members of the family are keeping to themselves, Mary Brown posted a lovely memorial to Garrison. Today, she followed up with another post. March 9 was her mother Bonnie's birthday. Mary hoped Bonnie was there to welcome Garrison to the afterlife. Mary Brown praised Garrison was warmly welcomed into heaven. Mary's mother Bonnie Barber passed away on March 26, 2021. Fans who follow the TLC star on Instagram know that Mary often posts about her mother and remembers her fondly. Since March 9 was Bonnie's birthday, she was on her daughter's mind this week. This week has been full of an array of emotions, but I couldn't let this March 9th pass without acknowledging and celebrating my sweet mom on her birthday. Mary Brown wrote on Instagram. She added many kind words about her mother and how much Bonnie loved all of the Brown children. Even though Leanne was her only biological grandchild through Mary, she loved all of the kids equally. She loved every one of her grandkids, no matter how they came into her family. They were all hers, and all of our kids lovingly called her grandma, Mary continued. I have a little more comfort this week knowing that she was likely on Garrison's welcoming committee, smiling that perfect smile at him and holding his sweet face in her loving hands. Keep an eye on our boy up there, Mom, and give him a hug for me. In wake of Garrison's passed away, many viewers called on TLC to cancel the show. However, it appears that the network continued filming the show, even as the Brown family mourns. What do you think of Mary Brown's heartbreaking Instagram post? Do you think TLC should bring Sister Wives to an end, or should the show go on? However, trashing Sister Wives' Cody Brown right now is inappropriate. The famous patriarch is grieving. Fans should honor his son's memory instead. Sister Wives star Cody Brown is mourning the tragic passing of his son, Garrison Brown, and many fans are blaming him, but they shouldn't. Right now, Cody's in a very fragile state. Hopefully, he's not reading the nasty comments that people are leaving on his Cody Win Brown Instagram account. If he is, they must horrify him, intensifying emotional pain that's already almost unbearable. Cody's probably still struggling to accept what is real. It's going to take a long time before Cody and Janelle Brown reach the acceptance phase of grief. Garrison is gone and nothing can bring him back, but Cody and Janelle have their faith. Hopefully, their belief in God will help them to stay strong. On Earth, Garrison suffered. As per US Weekly, his roommate said he was an alcoholic. That person also stated that Garrison was having problems with an ex-girlfriend. Perhaps Garrison was heartbroken. Cody gets the blame. But a lot was happening inside of Garrison, only he knew everything that he was thinking before his passed away. Now, Garrison's spirit can soar, free of pain and anguish. Someday, his parents will see him again in heaven. Sometimes, the most pure-hearted and loving people decide to end their lives. They may do it on impulse or plan their deaths. The world's a cruel place and those who are extremely sensitive may be very uncomfortable with humanity at its worst. Some people have a dog-eat-dog -dog mentality, but Garrison wasn't like that. He was a kind soul who helped Christine Brown's daughter Truly Brown to find a new hobby. He built her a flower bed. This type of generosity is what fans should honor now. That's what Janelle and Cody will remember. If Garrison really was an alcoholic, his addiction may have led to changes to his brain which made him more prone to poor decision-making and impulsivity. In the heat of the moment, while feeling despair, he might have impulsively decided to end his life. According to the National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism, alcohol produces chemical imbalances in specific neurocircuits and can be neurotoxic. Chronic heavy drinking can, for example, damage brain regions involved in memory, decision-making, impulse control, attention, sleep regulation, and other cognitive functions. While Garrison was a good friend and a good landlord, According to an In Touch Weekly exclusive, Janelle said on camera that her son was changing. Those changes might have been linked with alcoholism rather than Cody, she said, and Garrison just seems angry or sadder, like, he's not as happy-go-lucky as he used to be. Cody posted on Instagram on January 10, 2023, and the fan's remark was added after Garrison's tragic passed away. That Sister Wives viewer seemed to blame Cody for his son's passed away. They felt that Garrison yearned for acceptance and love from you. That poor boy. He yearned for acceptance and love from you. May God rest his soul and give you peace. Please reach out to all of your children and tell them that you love them, Cody. They deserve that. 
This is extremely cruel to write, especially right now, when Cody's pain is unimaginably intense. Cody's been dragged for almost everything, including allegedly not caring about Garrison. There was a sister-wife scene where Garrison told his father he'd signed up for the military. On the surface, it seemed like Cody was dismissive when other parents might have been proud. However, if a viewer looks a little deeper, they might see a father who was honestly afraid that his son would be hurt or killed if he was deployed. People continually assume the worst about Cody, and it's true that he's put Robin first and feuded with his children. These are facts. When Cody's children, with the exception of the kids he shares with Robin, tell the world that they feel neglected, they are sharing their inner worlds. Their emotions are valid. However, most 25-year-old men don't take their lives because of issues with their parents. So while issues with Cody were one facet in a very dark and sad mosaic, there were other elements at play, acting on Garrison and pushing him to self-destruct. When fans tell Cody it's all of his fault, it's not true, and it probably feels like a knife in his heart. Of course, he's already punishing himself and blaming himself. So it's important to be fair to him and consider what else was happening in Garrison's life. It's common for young adults to unravel after breakups. In fact, according to a peer-reviewed study published at the National Institutes of Health website, heartbreak can be devastating when people are on the younger side. Out of 370 students, 19.5% reported a major love breakup during the pandemic 95% CI, 15.5 to 23.8, and 34.3% had suicidal ideation 95% CI, 29.4 to 39.4. Having a major love breakup was associated with a higher prevalence of suicidal ideation. Of course, these facts won't stop the flood of hate. However, Cody probably had no idea that Garrison's life was at risk. He and Janelle were blindsided by this horrible event. Janelle did learn, based on a text in a group chat that included Brown family members and some of the sister wife's production crew, that her son was troubled over the loss of privacy that came with being filmed. Janelle's maternal instinct is very strong because she loves her son. However, she couldn't save him. She tried, but it was too late. Of course, if Cody had known what was happening, he would have tried to save Garrison too. Now, Cody's being painted as the worst human being. Is that really appropriate? No way. Another fan commenting on the same post referenced the past, pointing the finger at Garrison's dad. Poor children who had to hear from their father that he was not with their mothers out of love. What must these children have felt? No matter how old they are. Extremely sad. This time, the fan brought Robin into things. This was to be expected. She's Cody's queen. Robin is Cody's true love. The price he's paid for true love is so high that he may be questioning every decision he's ever made. Few have paid such a high price for falling in love. Cody, the dyed-in-the-wool polygamist, couldn't sustain his interest in his other wives. He just loved Robin. For years, we continued to carry, going through the motions to preserve his plural marriage. Again, he's been painted as a monster for doing this, but there's another side that needs to be explored. Perhaps Cody hung in there because he felt a sense of loyalty and duty to Janelle, Mary and Christine, and the children they share. Yes, Cody distanced himself during the COVID-19 pandemic, but lots of other people did the same. Plenty of people were incredibly strict when it came to social distancing, masking up and more. Cody's wives left him. He didn't actually leave a single one of them, except perhaps Mary, whom he emotionally froze out years ago. He actually stayed in polygamy, but he gets no credit for that or for much of anything. In the past, he's often been the butt of jokes. It's all too easy to attack the uber patriarch who rode around with Robin in a shiny white sports car. It's all too easy to put him under a microscope. But who would escape criticism if they were under the same type of scrutiny? No one. Yes, he signed up for this, Garrison didn't. It's just the right time to consider Cody's point of view and the fact that he's a human being. Fame and his love for Robin may have gone to Cody's head at times, sparking very bad decisions. However, while he's grieving, and he'll be doing that for the rest of his life, it feels so wrong to say, this is your fault. In light of certain facts about addiction and breakups and so on, it may be very wrong to put all the blame on him. According to a peer-reviewed study published at the National Library of Medicine, the lifetime prevalence of passed away attempts in patients with alcohol dependence is high. About 40% of all patients seeking treatment for alcohol dependence report at least one passed away attempt at some point in their lives, 64 to 66. 
Impulsive passed away attempts are common in patients with an alcohol use disorder. However, when Cody and Janelle chose to put Garrison on television, unwittingly, they were making a bad decision. Every child is different and Garrison didn't respond well to the spotlight. He probably felt violated, that, and his issues with Cody were real problems. They may have set the stage for addiction later in life, but again, that doesn't make his father responsible for his passed away. There was no way to predict this tragic outcome. Some of his other kids actually seemed to thrive on fame, including Wendling Brown and Peyton Brown. Their personalities suit public life. They are extroverts. Possibly, Garrison was an introvert who loathed being filmed. He may have resented that. Some of that resentment might have seeped out during his interactions with his parents. Of course, Janelle and Cody are thinking about all of this and beating themselves up psychologically. Do Sister Wives fans really need to twist the knife? No, but some of them will. Some fans may honestly believe that Cody deserves the blame for this. Others are trolls who enjoy spreading misery with their words. Cody and Janelle have loved Garrison since he was a baby. They held him in their arms and cuddled him. They fed and bathed him. He was their baby. Yes, things got rough between Cody and Garrison later on, but to Cody and Janelle, Garrison will always be their baby. That's why the verbal abuse they're getting right now is so tacky. No matter what Cody did, he lost his child in a horrible way. He's probably in shock and not doing well. People are acting like he doesn't care. Janelle, who tried to save her son's life, is going through hell. Anything that sisters' wives' fans can do to soothe these parents during this very difficult time, such as sending sincere condolences rather than blaming and shaming, will probably help them. Those who choose to judge may also be judged someday. Janelle and Cody believe in God. That faith was the foundation for their plural marriage. Although their union ended, neither has said that they've lost their faith. Right now, they are being tested. Hopefully, their faith will help them to get through this. Fans who attack them now should ask themselves, how would I feel if this was being done to me after my son died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound? Of course, the kind of hate that appears online right now is just wrong. Life can change in an instant. One day, Janelle was baking hamburger buns. Shortly after, she lost her child. People should remember that the same types of nightmare experiences can happen to them. Some compassionate Sister Wives fans may have been through the same type of trauma. However, Robin Brown seems to have lost her loving feelings for her husband Cody Brown. Though once head over heels for Cody, Robin now appears disconnected and over the relationship. With the other Sister Wives leaving Cody behind, Robin is left alone with a man she no longer desires. Subtle hints like demanding her own property stake suggest Robin eyes the door. After living her dream plural marriage for years, Robin now feels the magic has gone. Robin feels alone since there are no other sister wives around and every wife is occupied with her own life now. Robin has disclosed that as a woman, Cody treats her differently as per people. Cody has changed from being the same guy as everyone else since most of the women in his life have moved out. Robin finds this behavioral shift to be really bothersome since she thinks Cody is looking at her sideways. Robin seemed to be aware that Cody probably won't ever be the same man he once was. He has undergone a negative transformation and it doesn't appear like he will ever fully revert to his previous state. Though this could change in the future, the Sister wife star is most likely to stick with Cody because he's her best option. Additionally, Cody has made insinuations regarding how his relationship with Robin has changed after they were monogamous, as per Hollywood life. A few years back, Cody enjoyed showering his new wife with affection and she returned the kind. The two appeared to be the perfect marriage despite their polygamy, and some Sister Wives watchers were actually thrilled for them when they switched to monogamy. Regretfully, things have gotten much worse between Cody and Robin. They frequently complain about each other, suggesting that their marriage has suffered from monogamy. Robin only consented to Cody's marriage because of the other marriages. She had previously disclosed that although she had the option of being in a monogamous relationship, she opted to be with the polygamous patriarch. Robin was depressed when Christine Brown, Janelle Brown, and Mary Brown left Cody. Additionally, she acknowledged being angry a few months prior. Robin doesn't seem to be content with her newfound monogamy with Cody. Her husband's inability to handle his other relationships seemed to have broken her and hurt her deeply. The mother of five is still with Cuddy, but it seems like her affection for him has diminished. 
Robin made a significant hint in 2023 that she didn't think highly of Cody, as per Screen Rant. About Coyo Pass, she said that she deserved to receive an equal share of the property. Robin wouldn't have made such a demand if she had believed she would be with Cody through everything. The Sister Wives actress probably wanted to be sure she would survive a divorce and wasn't sure about her marriage to Cody. Although Robin's request for the Coyo Pass isn't incorrect, it seems very strange given that she has always discussed getting older with Cody. Robin fears that Cody's insane actions over the past three years may cause him to lose his mind. She revealed how her husband attempted to ruin their marriage in December 2023 while he was having an affair with Christine, Mary, and Janelle. He tries to, she remarked. As per her, he's not the same man who used to desire his family to get bigger. I had to stop him all the time. Instead, Cody has acknowledged that he has changed into someone who desires even more chaos. He expressed his desire to end their relationship during season 18 of Sister Wives. People who are loyal to one another consider creating a future together. But Cody and Robin have made some odd agreements that indicate they're probably not as committed to each other as people believe. Robin and Cody had a mutual agreement regarding their separation. The couple claims that if Robin isn't satisfied, they have agreed to call it quits on their relationship. Oddly, the two have come to such an agreement. It demonstrates that they are ready for the worst and are aware of their possible future. When two people are in love, they usually want to make their relationship work. Numerous new insights were revealed during the one-on-one -on -one conversations with the sister wives. Christine recounted Mary's personal wedding ring tale. Cody disclosed that he has never loved any of his partners, and Robin disclosed that she is experiencing more issues with Cody now that they are monogamous. She disclosed to the host that there was instability in their relationship, saying, We've never had as many problems as we're having right now in our marriage, as per US Weekly. Robin revealed that Cody has lost faith in all women, including herself. She yelled at him, accusing him of treating her unfairly because the other sister wives had moved on. Robin remains in Cody's company, carrying out her all-marital duties. She has, however, repeatedly called him out, giving the impression that her affection for him has diminished over time. Robin said in November 2023 that Cody is rewriting history by disclosing previously unreported information about his previous marriages and partners. Robin is disappointed in Cody even though she is aware that he is resentful of his breakups and that she believes he is fabricating stories to fit her expectations. However, at first, Robin Brown was seen settling into her new position in Cody Brown's plural family and figuring out how to get along with Mary Janelle and Christine Brown, his other wives. However, other fans thought Robin was very cunning, saying she stole the greatest qualities from Cody's three original wives, which made her the favorite. Fans of Sister Wives surmised that Robin Brown had managed to win over Cody covertly. She made qualities that Cody admired about the other wives her own by appropriating them. A few of the reasons why admirers believe Robin is manipulative are listed below. Critics of Sister Wives think Robin manipulates Cody Brown with her emotions. She also uses them to make others feel sorry for her since she's the victim of the Brown family's misfortune. There's also a recurring joke among the Brown kids about Robin's phony tears. After seeing the Sister Wives season 17 reveal, Wenling Brown said on her Patreon page that Robin is sobbing because she doesn't have enough tears. In a particular episode, Robin said that Mary Janelle and Christine had stolen the sister wife experience she had been promised upon marrying Cody. Wenlin said, was it just me or were there like no tears? Throughout the whole course of Sister Wives, Robin has spoken out in favor of her marriage to Cody, highlighting their close bond and devoted union. Given that Robin and Cody have similar ideals, plural marriage has always been an inherent element of their relationship. Robin has always been a strong supporter of plural marriages, so it doesn't make sense for her to advocate for monogamy after fighting so hard for Cody's previous marriages to fail during Sister Wives season 18. Her abrupt shift in attitude casts her as a deceitful person and undermines her case for monogamy as a whole. Robin has struggled with her relationships with Sister Wives, particularly with the other wives. This is not exactly a secret. Robin has always expressed her regular feelings of being left out, but she now appears to be very worried about her sister wives. Being the most important thing in Robin's life, her relationship with Cody, she has been quick to point out Christine's perceived jealousy of her in the past. 
and it doesn't make sense that she would be as hurt as she's pretending to be on Sister Wives Season 18 about their family's breakdown. Robin seems to be using her supporting actions towards the other wives as a means of manipulation. Her attitude toward Mary and her lack of sympathy for her are the finest examples. Robin would have encouraged Cotty to accept Mary back and helped involve her more if she had cared for the girl. She was superficially attached to Mary, however, so she did nothing. Robin would not assist her former sister's wife, Mary, even when Cotty offered her to reside in his barn and attempted to give her a lesser share of Flagstaff land. Robin saw the divorce as a personal jab rather than a means for Christine to move on. Even though she had nothing to do with Christine's ultimate decision to end her own marriage to Cody, Robin believed that rather than divorcing her husband, Christine was primarily fleeing their family. Following Cody's example, Robin thought that their family's disintegration was Christine's fault instead of attempting to build a connection with her during or after the divorce. Even though she wasn't personally affected by the divorce, she has never been able to let go of it. Although Cody's reaction to his divorce from Christine wasn't the most pleasant, he felt wounded and alone when Christine departed. The couple's situation proceeded to spin out of control, and he was not pleased that Christine had gone. The treachery wounded deeply. Robin took advantage of Cody's treachery to further hurt him by talking into his ear about how poorly Christine was treating their family. Robin was already feeling victimized by the scenario. She furthered her victimization by manipulating Cody into being even more irate by using her friendship with him as leverage. Robin has shown contrasting opinions on polygamy ever since she joined Sister Wives. She didn't want to be monogamous at first. Instead, she said she just wanted plural marriage. Afterward, Robin implied that her ultimate objective was monogamy when she said that it would be disrespectful if Cody took another woman into the family. Robin seems to be hiding something from us, based on her statements throughout the years. She seems to be dating Cody only for personal benefit. Robin most likely alternates between polygamy and monogamy to further her goals. Cody often loses his temper over relationships, always talking to Robin about his marital woes rather than concentrating on their connection. Robin used his rage to shift the blame from herself to Cody's other spouses. Robin is manipulative with both Cody and her sister wives. As a consequence, Mary's relationship is usually ranked much lower by Cody, who uses her as the scapegoat for his rage. Mary is held responsible for problems beyond her control, and Cody hardly gives their relationship any thought. Robin has harmed his marriage to Mary, mostly during the last several years.